is in within, and we are within time. It changes us, and we change it. A great thought by a great man, Vasil Levski, the apostate of Bulgarian freedom. It is doubtful that there is a region that has managed to preserve and sustain so much history as the Rose Valley and Thracian Kings won, or a region that has given Bulgaria so many remarkable people who managed to change the pace of history and leave marks for the future generations. Welcome to the land that gave birth to the great Levski, Botev, Vazov, Chudomir. Today we proudly present to you the Thracian tomb found in the heart of Kazalny. It dates back to the first half of the 3rd century BC. Access to the original tomb is strictly restricted, but you can find a copy right next to it. When visiting the valley, you should not miss out on the opportunity to see the world-famous tomb. Famous for its remarkable frescoes, it is one of the best-preserved ancient frescoes. Because of its uniqueness, it became the first Bulgarian monument to be included in UNESCO's World Heritage List. Another heritage left to us by the Thracians on the territory of the municipality of Kazanlik is the Suths III's tomb. It is one of the biggest mounds on the Balkan Peninsula, and there is also a temple, considered one of the most impressive Thracian appurtenances. More than 80 objects of remarkable value have been discovered in the mound. Iskra, a history museum, is our next destination. Situated in the central part of Kazalnik, it offers over 50,000 original exponents that tell us about the region's rich history. The museum is visited by hundreds of people daily. The History Museum of Karlovo is famous for its hospitality and exponents. While on your way there, walking down the beautiful city streets, there is no way you will be disappointed by a wonderful building that was once known as the Fifth Male School. Exceptional cultural heritage, dating centuries back, is kept behind its walls. Few are the objects that could be called symbolic for a certain historical era. Such an object that marks a period of turmoil in Bulgaria is the original bell that marked the beginning of the April uprising in 1876. Now, it belongs in the Museum of History in Klesura. The cherry ball, a symbol of the artillery in town, is kept here. You could enjoy another variation of uniqueness at the gallery, where you will find painting by the great Zlatyu Boyadzhev, Nenko Balkansky, Dechko Ozunov, Christo Stanchev, and more. There is a bizarre feeling the first time you cross the threshold of the house where Ivan Vazov was born. Today, there's no mark of the loud, numerous in members family. The atmosphere here today is one of quiet, harmony and idyll. Here, among the boxwood, vast green space and a cosy garden is where the Farut Bulgarian poet would grow up. Each room reveals a different side to the daily life and traditions of the Vazov family. The impressive waxwork exhibition that gives life to well-known Vazov characters, fills our hearts with the refreshing humor and charm of the old days. Plunging into this atmosphere gives one the opportunity to travel back to the time when the great poet was creating his work, and thus one can take in a piece of himself through them. One of the most appealing opportunities for the tourists is to get to know the past better through literally touching it. Such an experience is offered by the Ethnographic and Craft Center, Sapotsky Eznaf. 
situated in two Renaissance houses in the heart of Sapot. This unique workshop shelters the talent of generations of craftsmen. Engraving, incrustation, weaving, these are just a small part of the craftsman's talents. You can find a special workshop for you on the second level in the center. Marglij risen first. In the cross area above Marglij proudly stands the September Men Monument, which commemorates the fallen citizens of the city of Marglij. They are the first ones who bore the flames of the September Revolt. Their fight was glorified in the poem September by Guillaume Milev, and one can still read the date of 9th, 13th, 1923 on the monument. Nearby the Maglij River, on the hillside of Stara Planina, we find the St. Nikolai Chudotzvoretz Monastery. Even though the first written evidence about it is from the 15th century, legend has it that the monastery existed long before the Second Bulgarian Kingdom in the 12th century. The Holy Palace would give shelter to our apostate of freedom, Vasil Levski. Today the Maglij Monastery is a nunnery. An unknown sculptor turned an ordinary house in a Bulgarian village in Pavel Banya municipality into a noticeable one. He shaped the bas relief of the apostate with the following. Basil Levski founded a secret revolutionary committee here in 1869. The house is known by the name of its owner, Todor Djaninov, an enlightened and very active Bulgarian who founded the community center in the village as well as one of the first small schools in the area. Today, one can find an exposition in Todor Janinov's house, one dedicated to Levski. After a big fire when he got the house very damaged, the locals kept on telling stories in order to preserve the memory about how the successfully established committee was marked by Levski with the single shot, the bullet from which made a hole in the ceiling, preserved until the unfortunate year of 1887. Three kilometers south of Pavel Banya, one finds the cultural resort, Turaya, a museum village. The interesting thing here is that we find buildings that harbor the memories about the life and artwork of the great Bulgarian writer, humorist, and painter, Dmitor Pristov Chorbadzinski, Chudomir. Here we see the house he grew up in, the local community center, Najentsi Hall, and the St. V. M. Dimitar Temple. <laughs> <laughs> 